Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Tia and we're going to go over this week's descending ladder workout for you. So for this workout, we're going to have two groups of two exercises. Now, in each group, you're going to work for four minutes and you're going to start with five reps of each exercise. And every time you go back and forth between those exercises, you're going to go down one more rep. So you're going to start with five reps and you can do five reps of the first exercise and five of the second. Then you're going to go back to the first and you're going to do four reps of each exercise and four reps, yeah, four, then you're going to go back and down to three, two and one. Now we're going to work for four minutes. If you get down to one before that four minutes is up, you start coming back up that ladder again. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, and you can go back down if you really have that much time and you're really pushing yourself here. You ready, Tia? Ready. Okay. So for the first group of exercises, we're going to start with our step up press. So we're going to grab one dumbbell here. Tia's got that dumbbell in her right hand, which means she's going to be stepping up with that left leg, throwing that dumbbell ceiling. Deep breath in. Push that air out, use that momentum, stepping up here to throw that dumbbell to the ceiling. You'll do five on the one side, switch arms, you'll do five on the other, so it's five and five on this one. And then the second exercise is our squat row. So you grab that suspension trainer here, leaning back into that moving plank position. Now Tia's gonna sit into the squat like she's kind of swinging into it. And as she comes up out of that squat, she's gonna use that momentum to squeeze those shoulder waves and pull chest forward. So we're squatting and rowing. Notice how she's rocking into it and then driving back out, squeezing those shoulders. To make this heavier, you step further in. To make it lighter, you're gonna step just a little bit further out. The second group of exercises is we're gonna start with our one and a half squat. So you can grab some weight here as you're getting tired. If you need to, you can go to body weight here as well. So we're gonna go all the way down, halfway up, all the way back down, and then all the way. So that's one and a half squat. So we got one, half, back down, and one. So one and a half squats here, or seven and a half, and then six, and then four and a half, and then three, and then one and a half. You see, I did. Shut up, Josh. Here we go. Second exercise in this group is our push-ups. So going down to the floor, keep it nice and simple here. Challenge yourself. Really make these tough. Tuck those ribs, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those shoulder waist. Deep breath in on the way down. Push that air out as you press back up. If you need to, you go down from your toes. Lower those knees and press up from your knees. Again, down from the toes, up from the knees, or you can work from your knees, or you can use the suspension trainer for this one as well. We're going back and forth on those two groups for two sets of each. Then we're gonna move on to a finisher here. So for our finisher, we're gonna have three exercises. We're going 25 seconds of hard work, five seconds to switch. We're gonna do four rounds of these and then we're done for the day. So exercise number one is our ball slam. So grab that slam ball, reach high overhead and slam that ball down as hard as you can. I know we're going for 25 seconds. I want you to move fast, but don't rush. I really want you to think about making sure every slam is as hard as you can. Look how Tia's really trying to bring that ball today. Use those steps, sit that butt back and slam it down. The second exercise, we're going down to our plank position and we're just gonna do a ball switch here. So sliding that ball back and forth as far away from you as you can and then grab it with that other arm. She's pushing the ground away from her with that other arm as she's doing this, keeping those hips nice and stable. If you need to, you can also go down to your knees to work this one. You can also just hold that plank for that 25 seconds as you're getting tired. Then our last exercise, we're just gonna roll over to our booties here. We're gonna do some Russian twists. So leaning back, arching that lower back wall up those abs and we're going side to side with that ball you can keep those feet up off the floor if you'd like you can set them down on the floor if you'd like if you need to you can also just hold that iso crunch position as you're getting tired here as well so whichever one works for you okay that is our descending ladder workout for this week great job team.